All right, so the Wooting 60, you guys already know I absolutely love this keyboard. It is the best gaming keyboard in the world. Uh, honestly, nothing even comes remotely close. Until today, Razer have just pushed a firmware update to a couple of their keyboards, which blatantly copy some of the unique standout features from Wooting, notably the rapid trigger feature and also the adjustable actuation points. And I mean, it was only a matter of time until one of the big companies copied some of the just amazing stuff that Wooting have done with the 60HE. So naturally, I grabbed the Huntsman Mini, loaded up the firmware update and started testing this thing out. And yeah, as intrusive and overcrowded as Razer's Synapse software is, this is a completely free update and it's a pretty good one too. Let's start with the rapid trigger feature. This is the primary game changing feature which really put wooting on the map and the way it works is pretty simple. You don't have to wait for a key press to pass back through an actuation point for it to be reset. Instead, the switch resets as soon as you start lifting it. This creates a way more natural and responsive feeling input. Switches are activating and deactivating virtually as instantly as they being pressed and released. This also makes the wooding basically the fastest keyboard out there. Now the switches on the Razer Huntsman Mini have an actuation point of 1.5 millimeters, which is relatively shallow and, you know, relatively fast feeling because you don't have to press the switches too far down for them to be activated. But it's a double-edged sword because if you do press the switches all the way down, you now have to release them 2.5 millimeters for them to be reset. That is not ideal at all. And to be honest, it makes for a really spongy feeling input when you have to release the keys that much. It's actually worse than your standard Cherry MX Red. And yeah, it's not even close to the snappy inputs of a Wooting 60. With a Razer's rapid trigger though, just like on the Wooting, you only have to release the key press 0.1 millimeters for the switch to now be reset. At least that's what they say. Now don't get me wrong, Razer's rapid trigger definitely works, uh, but their version of a 0.1 millimeter rapid trigger and the Wooting 0.1 millimeter, it's different. On the Wooting 60, you can lift a key press by literally a hair and the switch will reset. Like honestly, it feels microscopic. However, on the Razer, although the software says 0.1 millimeters just like the Wooting, it's more like 0.3 to 0.4. Again, it's still leaps and bounds beyond having to wait for the switch to pass through an actuation point. But as you can see here, I am technically lifting off the switch by 0.1 millimeters, but it isn't being reset. Now, something that is actually really cool in Razer's software, first time I've ever said that, by the way, but you can actually visualize the exact position of the keystroke. So Razer's 0.1 millimeter rapid trigger not really being 0.1. You can even see that here in their software. I'm definitely releasing and repressing the switch a lot further than 0.1 millimeters, but it's just not registering. In fact, I can actually increase the rapid trigger setting to about 0.3 millimeters and not really see or feel a difference. Another big difference is that Razer's switch design seems to only be able to detect changes in input between 1.5 and 3.6 millimeters, whereas the Wooting can detect the entire switch keystroke range between 0.1 and 4 millimeters completely bottomed out. And this is likely just a limitation in design. The Wooting uses Hall effect sensors, magnets, and tiny changes in voltage to sense the position of the switch, whereas Razer uses an optical design which measure the amount of light being interrupted by the keystroke. And I think Razer have had their adjustable actuation points around for a while now, but yeah, it's not as advanced. On my my Wooting 60, for example, I've got my WASD input set to just 0.6 millimeters, which just feels instant, and that's not possible yet on the Razer. And I mean, don't get me wrong, 1.5 millimeters still feels very fast on the Huntsman Mini, but it's just not Wooting type fast. This also leads to probably the biggest difference, with the Razer Huntsman Mini not being able to detect input beyond 3.6 millimeters, and also requiring a minimum liftoff of a keystroke of 0.3 millimeters. That means that if you completely bottom out a switch, you need to lift it up to the 3.3 millimeter position for it to be reset. Whereas on the Wooting, you only need to lift it to the 3.9 position. But can you actually feel this difference in game? Well, actually, yeah, you bottom out your switches a lot more than you might notice, and the Wooting does feel more responsive, mostly at the bottom end of that input. I will say though, kudos to Razer for this free update. I mean, the difference of having to lift a keystroke to the 3.3 millimeter position to be reset, as opposed to how it was before all the way at 1.5 millimeters, yeah, this feels worlds better. And yeah, it's basically as close as any other keyboard has gotten to the Wooting 60. It's just not quite there yet. And yeah, there are differences as well in the sound. Of course, I have my Wooting 60 in a metal case here, but that's what that sounds like. The Razer Huntsman is definitely a lot more clacky 
in a spring, so there's a lot more kind of loose stuff happening here. But yeah, even in the default form, the Wooting 60 is a better built, nicer sounding keyboard. There is another difference too. On the Wooting, you can do multiple key presses registering just with one key press. So if you're picking up loot in Apex, for example, you can fully press and release the switch just once and pick up four items. It's actually pretty nuts. You'd have to be spamming your interact key extremely quickly to match this kind of loot speed. Definitely enable this if you haven't already. Razer say that you can also do this with their switches, but I just couldn't get it to work. I did exactly what they said in their software by setting a secondary function, but it just didn't do anything. So Wooting 60, definitely still the best gaming keyboard out there. You know, comparing Rapid Trigger to Rapid Trigger, this is a more responsive feeling input. It does sound like a better built keyboard as well in the default form, but we can't complain about Razer copying the features. Again, you know, Razer copied Wooting. It's actually not a bad thing. I think competition is good, especially when it's deployed as a free update. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how the two are comparing here. Maybe we'll see some closer competition in the future, but that's how things are panning out now. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.